In this interesting question, it's given that weight of each pencil is 53 gram and weight of each pen is 71 gram. And we have few pencil and few pen and their weight together is given as 5,118 gram. Using this data, we have to find how many pencil and how many pen were there. So let's see the solution. Let's assume number of pencil we have taken are X pencils and pen is Y pen. Now as per the question, the weight of X pencil will be 53 times X and weight of Y pen will be 71 times Y and their weight together is 5118. Now here it's a linear equation in two variable but we have got only one equation to solve it. So can we find a unique solution for this? Now here X and Y they are not real numbers meaning that uh, they, they are real number but they are natural numbers meaning that X and Y cannot be negative. X and Y cannot be in decimals. So when the limitation is there that X and Y are natural number then we can have a unique solution with only one equation. Let's see the solution of it. So to solve this equation, we'll take the variable with bigger coefficient on the other side. Now divide both the sides with 53. Here, this 5118, I have opened it as 5088 plus 30. We'll see why we have done it. And 71, we are writing it as 53 and 18. Now taking 5088 and minus 53y on one side and remaining terms on the other side. So we have segregated them so that 5088 is fully divisible by 53. So we are getting here 96 is from this term. So 5088 divided by 53 gives me 96. And 53y divided by 53 gives me negative y. And these are the remaining terms. So basically 5118 we have divided by 53. And we are getting quotient as 96. And here the remainder is 30. So this remainder is what we have written down here. Now here if you will see we have got x which is a natural number or we can say integer. 96 is a integer negative y y is also an integer which is number of pen so this particular term this has to be integer right because integer is some or differences of integers here so there is no other option but this particular expression should be an integer and let's assume this expression is equals to z Right? So here z is a integer. So we have x integer, y is integer and z is integer. And x and y are actually natural numbers. So let's solve it. Take 53 on the other side. So 30 minus 18y is 53. And let's take y value of y which is 30 minus 53z upon 18. Again we'll divide 30 by 18 and 53 by 18 and see what is coefficient and what is remainder. So I have divided, I have split 30 as 18 plus 12 and 53 as 36 and 17. So keeping 18 and 36 on one side and remaining on the other. So let's divide 18 by 18. This gives me 1. Negative 36z by 18, it gives me negative 2z. And these are the remainders which are left. So which are not divisible by 18 at present. Now here again if we will see y is a natural number, z is an integer, 1 is an integer. So this fraction, there is no other option but this fraction has to be an integer. So for this fraction to be integer, let's assume again the same way what we have done here. So we will say let this expression is equals to k where k again is a integer. Again simplifying it. 
so z is coming as 12 minus 18k upon 17 18k we have split as 17k minus k so 17k by 17 gives me negative k and remaining is 12 minus k so this is what i have simplified it now here if we'll see this is integer this is integer and this expression this expression again has to be integer and for this expression to be integer what shall be the value of k now think on it what shall be the value of k for this expression to be integer now this is easy to solve right we can put k as 12 here so 12 minus 12 is 0 and it becomes an integer so from here by just comparing the LHS and RHS both sides should be integer and there should not be any fraction left so we are getting here one of the possible value is k is equals to 12 now when I am putting k as 12 this particular expression this will become your 0 and we are getting z z is equals to negative of k so z is negative of 12 putting value of z here for y so when you put the value here you will get the value of y as putting z as minus 12 you will get value of y as 37 putting the value of y as 37 in this expression you will get value of x as 47 and we know that x is number of pencils and y is number of pen so number of pencils are 47 number of pen are 37 i hope you enjoyed the solution and it's a excellent question and i'll see you in next video till then tata bye bye